this is probably the last reaction I'm going to do of a single song. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I'm Dean Wolf. This is Prog Dog, and we do reactions, and as well as guitar lessons coming up a lot more soon, and uh, album reviews. So Muse Muser requested this. He says, and actually it says 14 hours ago. I've had this on my computer for a long time, so it might even be as long as a year. But this Muse song is one of the best live versions I've ever heard. You will love it. I love the fact that these guys are just three guys in trio. Cool how it said Muse there and that, across that crowd. How did they do that? So that opens up with this kind of, um, it makes me appreciate Led Zeppelin because I think Led Zeppelin is kind of one of the first bands that really came along and and, and uh, I could be wrong. It's just my impression that they came along and started doing this riffy thing. So do do do, like this was, for example, do 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 do
that sort of reminds me a little, uh, I think we have uh, Led Zeppelin to thank, who's sort of like one of the pioneers that really kind of maybe popularized that kind of uh, riffing, heavy riffing, heavy duty riffing. It just blows my mind how three guys on the stage can just, they have so much, so much energy and despair uh, that they just lit that entire audience up, you know, um, so much energy. I love that. Over the years, as I've done a lot of reactions to Muse, I've always reacted to single songs, which is kind of confusing in a sense, because what I want to do is to properly uh, focus on one whole album, start to finish, and actually do an album review, and do an album, talk like talk about it, do a written version, talk about it. Because uh, doing all these reaction videos, everything, uh, you know, when you get little highlights here and there, and it's a long career too, Muse is a long career. It does a, a bit discombobulate me as a as an appreciator of music and appreciator of Muse. So I have that's something uh, I just realized as I was watching this. I have got that task ahead of me. I got to do that. I got to start uh, zeroing on, in on some of the albums, and doing a, a proper review of the whole thing, just to contextualize it. So I I because there are certain bands that I grew up with like for example Rush and I know what year each album came out with I remember how albums went from album to album how they changed Muse I don't have that continuity in my thought I just uh, I remember I downloaded uh, the one about uh, black holes that, that in the title I downloaded that one back in the day when downloading was like a new thing and I had a little iPod touch and stuff uh, even before I got, I had a, had an iPod Touch before the iPhones came out because they came out before the iPhones. They had basically an iPhone without a phone on it, and then they incorporated a phone and released that. Uh, I remember going out the first day the iPod Touch had ever even existed, and I was like expecting a lineup. I was honestly expecting a line at the store. I said, "This has got to be the greatest invention ever," you know, touch screen. And I went to the store. There's hardly anyone there. I just couldn't understand it. But the I was ahead of the I was ahead of the curve, I guess. And eventually, especially with the iPhone, it just suddenly then it just went totally nuts. Everyone wanted an iPhone. It was like the best thing ever. BlackBerry just disappeared after that. Gradually disappeared. Anyways, how did I get off on this tangent? I don't know. But I'm talking about Muse here. Like I say, I love uh, Muse and want to get a lot more into their albums and focus on that. So this is probably the last reaction I'm going to do of a single song. Um, yeah, probably. I've reacted to so many songs. If you want to check out this playlist there, I'll link it up there and below maybe. Uh, you can check out all my other reactions. I've done a lot of reactions to Muse over the years, but it's time to put it all, gather it all together, get some perspective. So thanks for watching my video. If you stuck away all, all the way to the end, I'd like to do a quick commercial for myself, deanwolf.bandcamp.com. There's music from 2023 that I just released. Older music, but it never got released. And also 2024, we're going to have a new album come out. So spiraling on, it's Dean. Talk to you all later. See ya.